An octopus eats itself to raise its offspring. Hello YouTube family, welcome back to Curiosity Lounge. In today's video we're going to talk about how octopuses eat themselves to raise its offspring. Octopuses are the undisputed darlings of the science internet, and for good reason. They're incredibly intelligent problem solvers and devious escape artists with large complex nervous systems. They have near magical abilities to change colors, skin textures, and shapes instantaneously, and they can regenerate missing arms at will. Stewards of the captive octopuses take heed. Compared with octopuses living in tanks full of interesting decor like shells or flower pots, octopuses living in a more spartan condition become pretty stressed out. One study found. Some even turn to a disturbing behavior known as autophagy, or eating their own appendages. In such a non-stimulating environment to feed its offspring. Why does an octopus eat itself? 1. When he is hungry. They research that such behavior takes place when an octopus is extremely hungry. Once such behavior starts, it is difficult to stop. It even spreads to any other octopuses that come in contact with one who has eaten its own limbs. The octopus eats itself in a horrible way and within a few days it dies, succumbing to the injuries caused by it. This happens to a captive octopus, but usually an octopus that is not in captivity and had eaten a limb can regrow a fresh new limb. Most probably in captive situations, the water gets infected which causes the death. Number 2. Behavior is caused by infection. Octopuses can sometimes suffer from autophagy or self-cannibalism. This is what is described as eating its own arms, this is caused by stress. A stressed animal is not a healthy animal and is open to infection. It is believed that it is caused by virus bacteria which can manage to take hold on a stressed octopus. The biting is said to be due to the irritation and biting alleviates the affected area. An octopus can lose an arm without harm and regrow it. By biting it off, the octopus loses the infected arm and hopefully a healthy one regrows. But in captive situations, probably caused by bad water quality, the infection can't be shaken off. The stressed, infected octopus dies with its arms in tathers. Ever see a dog that constantly licks its paws to the point of bleeding? Again caused by a secondary infection, or even after the infection is gone, a dog may keep the habit. Seemingly hurting itself on purpose, but really just responding to given situations, it's called habituation. Number 3. It is caused by bad handling. It is purely bad handling and bad husbandry that causes this. A healthy octopus would never do this in a tinium conditions like its natural environment. Some animals can become stressed or bored to the extent of self-mutilation. Some parrots, again an intelligent animal, will pluck all of its own feathers out. This is very common in captive birds. It can be cured by stimulation. Give it toys, some company, a more natural aviary, and it soon stops. Number 4. Because of repetitive stress. Animals can often suffer from repetitive stress system. Pacing backwards and forwards in their enclosures like an elephant in a concrete zoo cage, or monkeys used for dancing will often be seen biting themselves. This is why many zoos now encourage en enrichment. They try to encourage near natural conditions by hiding animals' food inside tree stumps, for instance. This would be suitable for an animal such as a Cody Mundy, which would normally look for its food in the way. Number 5. Humans are blamed for this behavior. Anyways, all this is caused by humans and their intentions. Like the experiments with octopuses that Richard Ellis does in The Monsters of the Sea, he describes an octopus biting itself until it died. Following experiments involve shock treatment. Lack of enrichment in its lifestyle and probably poor water quality, maybe it was in a bear tank, all could have caused this autophagy. What were the experiments? They could have been zapping it with electric shots to see what would happen next, as in sometimes done. So animals do not commit suicide, but some external alien stimuli can cause uncharacteristic behavior. I believe that is what is witnessed here with suicidal octopuses. These behaviors are so distinct and so stereotyped when you actually see them. It's really exciting because it's the first time we can pinpoint any molecular mechanism to such dramatic behavior, which is amazing to discover. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video.